Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mbak and I welcome you to our fifth video of creating a complete inventory management system. We always do one hour but today we are going to do 40 minutes so I'll start our timer. So without waste much time let's go straight into our today's project. As you can see the project is there. I've already put it in my Visual Studio code. I believe at this point you can be able to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand my terminal and start the project. So I'll expand my terminal and clear the screen and then go ahead and run php at sun serve and then our server will start. I'll press control and click on this to go to our server. So this is our server. So yesterday we, were, we stopped at the place where we were creating categories. So in this I'm logged in as a super administrator so I'm not, be able to, I'm not able to save in categories. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, lo I'm going to launch another browser and then log in as a who? As, uh, as, a, as, as a company owner. So I'll come here. Let me open Chrome. And then I open this one. And then I'll go ahead. Let me first allow someone the meeting. Right. Then after, I'll go ahead. Uh, someone should mute. All right. After doing that, I'll go ahead and open uh, this endpoint into our watch, into our Google Chrome. So this is Google Chrome, and in this Google Chrome, you still remember we were logged in as an administrator. That's why you see company admin one. So yesterday we stopped at the point of creating what creating categories and if you, see, you still remember we were able to create these categories in the previous video now we stopped at the place of creating subcategories and this is the model where we stopped after creating this controller so we're going to take it to from there straight so what we're going to do right now we're going to create a what we're going to organize this form of creating a what a subcategory uh, okay so let's go ahead and open this controller and then we design this subcategory form so i'll go to our project and then come to app then admin then come to controllers and then come to uh stock subcategory here so let's go ahead and change the name here and make it let's go ahead and change the name here and make it Uh, let's go ahead and change the name here and make it stock subcategories. Okay, so if I do like this, I come and refresh here, you'll see this one is stock subcategories now. All right, so let's begin by doing the first thing here. We don't need this company ID to be visible. So you're going to begin by hiding this company ID. So to do that, I'll go ahead and borrow uh, the code from this category. You know, we already created this one. So I'll open this category controller and then come to this form. So you have that logic at least on top here. So I can come and copy these two, okay? And come and paste them here. I'll remove this company ID and then I'll paste this one. So what I've just done here, I'm just getting a, a user who is logged in and then I hide the company ID and they say that company ID to be set here by default. Okay, so if I come and refresh here, this should disappear, it should be hidden. So it is hidden now. So another thing that we're going to do, we're going to get the stock category. So this is going to be a what? It's going to be a drop down of a parent category because this subcategory must belong to a what to a stock to a stock category so it means that this stock category id is going to be a reference or a parent category so we're going to make it a what a drop down so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to get uh categories so i can say categories equals to i go ahead and say uh subcategory you guys mute your microphones Can I be able to set something here? Okay. 
Okay, so here, what we're trying to do here, we are going to make this one a drop down of what? Of categories, okay? So I'll go ahead and say categories equals two. And then I go ahead and get a uh, uh, category. So the most important thing here is every query that you make, you must put the what? The company ID. Otherwise, if you don't put the company ID, then it means that you're going to get things for different companies. And that is not going to be good. Okay. So we're going to put here company IDs and then status should be active and then we get those two categories. Okay. So these categories, they are going just to give us a list of what of categories that we have. So you see this two category and then I put where and they get the what category. You guys mute your microphones, please. Mute your microphone, disable your videos. It's time for work. Okay. So here I get the categories. Okay. I get the category and then I can first display these categories here. Here, the most important thing you should be able to know that I'm getting categories. It is category and then I say where I open car bracket, I mean open square bracket. I put company ID. I put the company ID of the person who is logged in. Okay. And then I, maybe I can say I want the active categories. I say where status is active. So let me go ahead and dump these categories here. What I put. Don't raise your hands. You raise your hands after the lecture. This is a recording, please. So if I go ahead and refresh here, I should be able to see the categories. Can you see? These are the categories. So there are two categories that this company has added. You see, I'm able to get them. But these are just objects. They are objects. But our drop down is going to is going to escape. I mean, it's going to expect a key and a value a key and a value so i'm going to show you a technique of getting a key and a value so after getting this doing get here you can get a key and a value by just simply saying plug okay then you say plug the name and the id so by doing like this is going to get for you the name and the id of this what of these items so this is the acceptable drop down because these ones are going to be just uh, objects so if i refresh here you see it is now an array that is having a name and id and what and the and it, that is having an id and a name the, where the id is the index and the what and the name is the is the name of a category okay so this is the one that is going to be accepted in what in uh, in our drop down you can as well loop and create your own categories manually so this is a technique that you can say just plug so it is going to plug the name and the ID and it should be in this order, not plug ID and the name. So it's going to be a key and it's going to be the value that the user will see. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, category ID a drop down. So I'll just simply come here and say select and then here I say stock category, not stock category ID. So this is a parent category and then I put options. Okay. I say options and then the option I pass these categories and then I put the rules that should be required so someone should be able to upload without adding this so I can go ahead and remove this TD so by doing like this you can pause the video and see what I've done I've just got the categories that belong to this company always remember to do that and the ones that are active and then I only plug the name and the ID and then I put those IDs as options for this drop down or for this select so if I come here and refresh now, I should be able to see that I'm getting here these categories. Let me go ahead and open my chat GPT. Okay, so let me come here. See, these are my last chat, the supermarket. Um, supermarket categories, we searched that thing. Do you have it? Yeah, okay, you see, we had here. Uh, fresh products and grocery. All right. So after doing that, um, so what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, and put a what and put another category. For example, let's go ahead and maybe and add dairy and refrigerants and refrigerated. Okay. Let's go ahead and okay. Let's go ahead and add uh, frozen frozen foods. Okay. So to do that, I'll just simply come here. I'm on categories, main categories. 
I go ahead and add new and then say frozen fruits. I say maybe it is um, active and then I can attach the image and then I submit. So you see, I'm able to have this. So if I come here to subcategories and I click on new, I should be able to see even that frozen foods there. So now we have the frozen foods, I mean the frozen foods. So after doing that, let's go ahead and proceed to the next field. So the next field, I'll go ahead and uh, make this one to be a what? A text, not a text area. Not a text area. And I also make it required. What? I'm not edible or... Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I thought... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I thought that I had muted. Kumbi, I muted myself. I hope you can hear me now. I'm sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But the recording will, will be you'll be able to get the voice. So right now we are getting the what? We are getting the uh, the name. I mean, we are collecting, connecting a name, and then we make also this field to be what to be required. So if I come here and refresh. Now you see here we have a subcategory name and then subcategory name is required. So uh, we shall have the description and then we shall have the status which is active or not active. And then here we're going to make it a radio. Okay, we make it a radio. Okay, and then here it says status and then we go ahead and put the options. Okay, so the option is going to be active and inactive and then the rules should be are required so this one will help us to set the status to be active and not inactive let me put that last okay so after setting uh, that one or well, the next thing you're going to have here an image so let's go ahead and put here the word image like this okay so after putting the image after putting the image uh the next thing we are going to go ahead and put the buying price we say this one will be calculated by the system and and the selling price I mean the buying price, the buying a uh, price, or this the price that has been invested to be calculated on the system. The selling, the amount of money that has been invested will be calculated by the system, and also the expected profit will be calculated by the system, and also the earned profit will be calculated by the system. The measuring unit, this one will be input by the user. Okay, so the user the one will be will be specified. Okay, I'll be measuring this one in pieces. I'll be measuring this one in maybe in kilograms. I'll be measuring this one in what? In maybe, uh, so this is the standard measuring units that they'll be using here. So let me go ahead and make this measuring units to be uh, required, okay? To be required. Then after doing that, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put um, the, the current quantity that will be calculated by the system, so remove it. And also the order level, this one will be required. Okay, so I'm going to put here reorder level, and then I put bracket here, uh, units, bracket, units. So this is the order level. It'll also be required. So um, I'll make this one required. So uh, this is should be able to reorder. I mean to to tell someone when they should reorder. So if I come here and refresh, we'll have this field, something like this. However, however, I don't like uh, like this kind of uh, an input. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it to be a decimal. So you have another technique here called decimal, like this. So decimal will uh, have a short input and will accept numbers only. See? To accept numbers so that is our what our uh, category our subcategory okay i think uh that's enough i think I'll, unless otherwise let us review again let us review again okay then let us review uh let us review the code and then also review the what and then you see if everything is all right okay so the first thing is uh the categories Okay, so the category is okay. Okay, the, the category is okay. The next thing is the um, everything. I think everything is okay to make it stock. 
uh, record. So if I refresh here, if I refresh here, everything should be all right. Okay. So let me go ahead and create um, a subcategory. Let me come here to chat GPT. Let's go ahead and create fruits. Okay. Fruits for for what? For uh, fruits. Um, for what? Fruits is under what? Is under fresh products. Let's create our first subcategory called fruits. So I'll come here and say fresh product is a main category. And then I come here and say fruits is a subcategory. So I can write here some details about what? About fruits. And then I go ahead and select the image. Okay, I'm going to fix also the issue of the image right now. We will not keep on escaping it. Okay. So I can select the image. Yesterday we tried to put an image. And we saw we had some challenges. Uh, let me come here and get just some. an image, a relevant, a relevant image. Okay, then after I'll go ahead and drag and drop it here. Okay, let me go ahead and <laughs> I'll get it from here. I think I'll find it in downloads. Yes, it is in downloads. I'll go ahead and select it. So we're going to uh so our category is under is fruits under frozen food. I mean under what? Under under grocery, right? Fruits that are under grocery from I mean, is under fresh products. Fruits is under fresh produce or fresh products. And then we write some we write fruits, the name of the subcategory, then write here some description, and then we go ahead and attach the image of the fruit, and then we go here and put the what? The measurement units. So how shall it be measuring fruits? Okay, maybe I can say piece. So you can maybe using pieces. Is it piece, one piece of a mango or two pieces? Okay, for fruits. Okay, others they use kilograms, I think, yeah, kilograms, yeah. Fruits, they may they use kilograms, by the way. That's the standard way of measuring fruits. They so can use kg, so it has used singularity. You use kilograms, and then and then reorder level in respective units. So I can say maybe when you're remaining with um, with what with the fifty kilograms of this of this fruit of the fruits, the system should be able to warn us that uh, the order level of the fruits have run what have, run, have done have done what. Have ran out okay so i submit so you can see it has submitted successfully but the challenge that we're facing right now is that this fruit if we try to edit if we try to edit if we try to edit you'll see that the fruit picture is not coming okay so let us fix that issue right now okay we have been uh, skipping it okay i have another project where i've been doing uh, let me see how I configure that file system and then we also configure ours uh, So here in file system, so we have a file system called public So in the other side, I'm also going to create another. Okay. We have a file system called Okay, here yeah. we have a file system called admin. Okay, so let's go come here to our file system File system it is under configuration here. So this admin so let us make sure that they are matching. So here, the, the driver is local. The driver is local. Uh, the root path, okay? This is the most important path. The root path should be in public storage. So the not storage path. So the root path is going to be public storage, not the root path, okay? Public path. This is the most important part. So it should be public, then storage inside it. And then the URL should be the, the 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 URL of the of the of the system. Then stroke the storage. So we're going to put here the URL should be URL of the system stroke storage. And then we come here to visibility and make it public. Visibility and make it public. So that is how you have to configure. I think that's how you have to configure your what your um, storage in able to to be able to do what uh to see the the images okay so 
come to, to configuration files then disks and then say admin and then go ahead and put the driver as local public as public path to then storage and then the, the url to be this one and then the visibility to be public then after doing that you're going to go ahead and create a folder in your public folder so i'll collapse everything here and then i come to my to my public folder to my public folder and then i create another folder called new folder i'm going to call it storage so this storage is a place where i'll be putting a heart our pictures or the pictures that are in public so those don't miss those steps otherwise if you miss then you're going to face some challenges okay after doing that the next thing that you're going to do uh, now you see that they are referencing here up 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 url so it means that the up url should be correct that is inside the environment so let's go in the environment and set this up url to be correct so always remember to update that up url so even if you upload your system to online make sure that you update the, your, the up url so let's go to environment.inv and then come to up url so you see ours is pointing at localhost but ours is really pointing at this okay so go ahead and copy the port or the endpoint here your base url here in your system the one that you're using it's the one that you're going to put here not the local host like this okay so that's our up url so after doing that then uh, the last thing uh let me see uh did, do i have any change here in the admin in this project uh, if I come here to configuration, to configuration in admin, do I have anything in disks? Let me let me see if I have anything different here. In disks, I think this is the same as how we did. So make sure that those things are set like the one I've shown you. So one more last thing that you have to do, you have to make this public, uh, public, uh, this public what? This public folder. To be public so it can be accessed in uh, public okay so to do that you're going to write um uh, you're going to put a what dot ht access file here so come to your root folder i mean the root folder the main folder the main 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 folder here and then you're going here next to that inv you're going to create another file so just simply come here to the root folder make sure that you click on the root folder here on the root folder all right on the root folder just on top here next to laravel admin right click and then create a new what a new file here next to dot inv go ahead and say new file okay here and put this dot very carefully dot ht access like this dot ht access just exactly i've written it go ahead and press enter then come on google and search laravel dot ht access okay so you'll see suggestions of laravel dot ht access okay and i think this the most popular one and this one is the most correct this one here so you're going to copy this one and put it inside your what inside the dot ht access that you've created let's try to use this one if it doesn't work i'll show you another one so you've seen what i've done so i'll copy this one and then come and put it here so those lines should be exactly as how you see them okay so if you don't want to search you can as well pause the video and copy these lines okay and read them exactly as how they are otherwise you may need to search and then come and copy so this one will help us to run our applications on what on a local host all right so i think there our images should be able now to show let's try so I'll come to our project refresh and then upload the new image oh it's not showing let us see was the image did, did the image go there let's see if the image was really uploaded it wasn't uploaded yeah there's always uh let me see was the image uploaded so i'll come here to public storage images okay you can see the folder was created the folder was created but the image was not uploaded okay so let's see what could be the issue let me use this to teach access i think they're the same yes 
same that I always use. Okay, let's try to let's try to upload. I don't know why. Let me try to upload, but it's supposed to work. Let's try to upload, and we shall figure out. Boom! It has worked. 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 So you see, our image is here. Can you see that? That is beautiful. You see, our image is here. So the image has been uploaded. So it means that now we can work with images. So it is that simple. You see, I can refresh and the image is there. That is so beautiful. Okay. So I can be able to now put the right image, the fruit image. Uh, so there is um, another method. I mean, sorry. If I come back here to stock subcategory controller, this one on image, there is uh, what is image? This one, the product photo. There is another method that that we call unique name. Okay, so unique name, it will make sure that uh, this image is having a unique name, so you can add this method here. So. I know it can be confusing for the first time, but please don't give up. Make sure that these things are working. Just keep on trying because this is not uh, magic. It is possible. Try, try, try until you make sure that you're able to upload the image and it's sticking there. Please. It is possible. Trust me. Even if you spend one day fixing it, it is okay. Because once you learn it, then you learn it forever. That's the whole beauty. So if I want to remain to this page while I'm editing, I just simply click here. Continue editing and then I submit. Boom. You can see. So our image is having a unique name. You see? It is having totally a unique name. So you can see if I refresh, our image will remain there. So it means that our image is sticking there. That is so beautiful. So uh, for now, uh, this is uh, a category. Okay? That is a category. That is so nice. Let us add more like two categories or like, like three categories. Okay? Let us let us add like three subcategories. Sector so scam to chat GPT. So under 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 fresh produce we have vegetables. Okay, so we'll come here, click list new vegetables. So vegetable under fresh produce and say subcategory called vegetables. So let me come here and search a an image for vegetables. can get this one I come and upload it okay so measuring units can also become kilograms you can be measuring in kilograms and then they should order uh, I mean the system should order us when there are 50 kilograms remaining there we go uh, it has ticked there so it has worked so let us go ahead and create. So we have it here two categories, two subcategories. Let us go and create um, like one more category under under what? Under um, under under frozen foods. So you can say maybe ice cream and desserts. That is subcategory. So we'll come here and say under frozen foods. I say ice cream and desserts. I come here and put some details of ice cream. After doing that, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and search. Uh, ice cream subcategory image, whoever you can do better, you can go ahead and edit these pictures from what from Photoshop and then upload uh, nice pictures or the pictures that are in right dimensions in your project. Well, I mean, I'm just for saving time, I'm just using random pictures on the internet. But I'll show you uh, the better way to do that. I'll show you when, when we reach to products. I'll show you when we reach to products. For now, let us just use these random pictures. Okay, so that's it. So I'll come here and say kilogram, I mean measuring units. Uh, ice cream will be measured in what? <laughs> in pieces? Oh. Okay, let us say pieces. Okay, not everything is going to be measured in kilograms. And then I say ice cream maybe when, when you're remaining with the, with the, uh, 20 pieces, you should be able to own us the system. So that's enough for the testing, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to, um, to organize our table here.
we're going to organize our table here so i'm going to be teaching you different things as we proceed so it's not that it's going to be like a class that you're going to teach a b c d no when we meet something and we need it i will teach you how to handle it there and then so you have to be uh, very attentive on everything so here what you're going to do right now we're going to organize this table properly so let's go and organize this subcategory table properly so i'll come and collapse this one after doing that we're going to, co to come here and uh, organize our grid so we can need an id so the id we shall leave it there so id okay so another thing that okay let us first organize the table and i should okay no the first thing that you have to do is to make sure that we are showing uh each company we are showing them their respective what their respective products so i'll come here to subcategory and borrow okay let us do it again uh, so you can remember so this is subcategory i want to make sure that each company they are seeing their respective what their respective uh subcategories okay so let's first get the person who is logged in the person who is logged in is you equals to you equals to admin user admin then user so that we like that we'll be able to get the person who is logged in so now after doing that we are going to limit this table to get only the persons i mean the products of that company so you see grid model where company id is equal to the person's company who is logged in so go ahead and write this one it will enable us to limit the product to be only for the company who is logged in okay so that is very important line when you're making us a software as a service as a system that's going to be used by multiple people so after doing that the next thing that we're going to do we are going to go ahead and make this id sortable sortable all right and then let us say that okay uh, you see these are the products these are the products now we want we want we want them to be having the names to be ordered in alphabetical you see by default by default before someone orders them so if you want to do that then you have to come and attach on this model on this very model on this very model you can come here and attach a order by so you say order by name so order by name ascending so it will be able by default it will be ordering these names in ascending order the name of the pro of the categories all right so are we interested in the date when the category was created no we are not interested so I'll remove it are we interested when it was last updated no we are not interested are we interested in displaying the company name we are not interested are we interested by dis of the on displaying the parent category yes we are interested so i'm going to put here category okay so but as you can see this category is being represented as what as a what as an id so this is the parent category so what we're going to do we are going to represent it as a what as a subcategory so we'll come here and put here display function you still remember this function and then you get the subcategory so i can even check and see if equals to null i return nothing okay because sometimes the category may be deleted <laughs> okay so if equals to null i return nothing that's how you do okay so you can see um otherwise if it is not null then you should return the category name so by doing like this you should be able to get the category name here and then it should be also sortable okay so this is the parent category all right so after doing that uh but before you display the parent category i'm going to remove it and make it to become next to the what the main subcategory name okay so this subcategory name will come first let me also make it what i make it also sortable that is beautiful okay the description of the category we, we can hide it i have the status Mm, we can make it sortable and maybe we can put it at last okay okay so the image that is another important part that i'm going to come and we fix because we want to display here the image we need to display the image so let us make this image too we're going to display it at the very last or we can put this image uh, next to the id so i'll come and put here next to the id and we're going to come back and fix this image and we display it in that grid uh, all right so um 
so we come here the description will hide it by default we can put even at the last here okay uh the invested so i can put here investment so the amount of money that you have invested here uh i'll put it this one here and also i make it what i meant it suitable so this will be showing you how much you have invested in this product uh in this in this what in this and then here i show you uh total sales that you've made in this one so i can say maybe uh expected what expected sales that you're expecting to sell so it will be coming here so the investment is be the total investment and then the buying price will be the, the 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 expected sales okay all right so here is the what is the expected profits and uh, let me also make them sortable the expected profits and then here the and profit i also make them sortable the and profit and then here with the measuring unit we don't need to display it okay so the current quantity current quantity so we are going to display this quantity and and display their what their um, so you cannot just say they are they are what they are for example the current quantity is okay we'll come okay I'll, I'll, okay 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 you cannot just say maybe it is maybe 50 or 20 you have to put the other unit so it means that you have to override this what this display by just simply putting uh display and then you put number format okay so you put display function and then you put the number format so number format will help us to to put to break things in commas let me just for example give here like this kind of number you see that number okay let me say i have like one million okay so this function of number format is going to help us to give us those commas you see it, it help us to give those commas that's the point of number format so let us put the real quantity there so the real value is this one now we are going to attach the unit so you cannot just do and then don't attach the unit so if you want to attach the unit you're going to access the unit by simply saying this and then say measuring unit uh, i think that's the name that we used eh? and then say this and then say measuring unit so by doing like this it will be able to show us the measuring units there so you see here there is zero kg something like that you get it eh? and then after we're going to put here the reorder level the order level so it's going to be also that in measuring units okay so the order level we can just leave it there la, from there all right so that's it i think that's it um so if you maybe want to make the order level to be editable like uh, a person should be able to edit the order level within the line without changing you can just simply come here and add another thing called editable okay so by editable someone will be able to say to change this order level from the line here by just simply saying okay i want the order level to be uh, 70 kgs and submit when they refresh you'll see 70 kgs you see that is beautiful so you can do the order level like that so i can make sure that it's a number that's not there okay it's not a number that's not allowed all right so like yeah so that's it um yep that's it uh yeah that's it okay that's it i think that's it that's it okay maybe we can make it look a little bit beautiful by um saying if it is active it should be green if you're not active it should be blue so if you want to do that you come here and put what we call using okay no and put what we call label okay so label will have the 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 the, the, the colors okay so you can say if it is active it should be success success means green if it is active it is inactive it should be danger danger means red so by doing like this you shall be able to have uh this kind of beautiful what beautiful thing so if i come here and edit and make this a category not to be active let me say i make it inactive so if i make it inactive you'll see it is what it is red that is beautiful okay so that is the meaning of what of label so that one can help us to make our things better all right so uh let me remove this batch select i hate it okay let me disable the batch select so I'll come here to our grid 
and disable the but select so read and say disable but actions okay so but actions we remove them yeah, they are gone and let's go ahead and put the search engine so i'm going to put here a quick search okay a quick search and we're going to search by name only okay our time is up our time is up i know i know, I know. it's time i think it's making for me nice Thing can be loud, eh? Where is it? Let me just mute. All right, I'm going to mute that time. It can make a lot of noise. Where is it anyway? Like, okay, it is here. It is here. It is here. All right, our time is up, but um, we're supposed to do one hour. But let me just do a little bit finishing. So here, I'm making the quick search to be searching by name. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see that I'll be able to search here by name. If I say maybe fresh, I can be able to see fresh items. Okay. But you don't have something called fresh. Okay. If I come and search here, uh, for example, I put vague, I should be able to see vegetables. So our search engine is working. All right. So now let's come in the next video where I think we should just do non-stop. Let me just do non-stop and then we go at once. Now, in the next video, I'm going to start from here and go ahead and uh, do what? And uh, display the images. I think we still have energy, so let us just do non-stop. All right. Let me uh, pause the video. I mean, stop the video for those who are going to rewatch. And then we do the next one.